Hello. 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 Hello, Spam. Hey, fiddly, how's it going? Hello, the monkey. Huh? Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. I spend you're a bit quiet. Can you maybe turn yourself up a bit? Me? No, spend. Oh. Spam, you're a bit yeah. quiet. Can you maybe? No, that's right. I'll sort that out in a second once I've done the um king or anything. Yeah. All right. One of the things I've been slightly struggling in the game about is I use mouse and keyboard and I've just been trying to experiment different ways to use my guard because, yeah, recently it's been really fidgety. Uh, you might change your mouse sensitivity to the default. Yeah, I've been experimenting different ways. I think I've gotten it now a little bit. So... I don't care if you failed to synchronize achievements. Stop telling me this. <laughs> Streams dipping in bitrate every, every so often. Weird. Say that again? Uh, nothing. I was talking to myself. Oh, okay. You're just... Okay. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Hey, Silver, how's it going? Hey, Nomi. Hello. Hello. How are you too? Turn my volume now because I've moved over to headphones and so now I can't hear anything. Um. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Um. How are you all doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. What about you? Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm ready anything. to absorb information. I'm gonna get as much cool. as possible. Alright. Oh, is it during EB4? Oh, well. Right. Oh, that's gonna be archived, so. Yeah, is there it? Is there actually anything a... in you before? Any before? Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty uh, sure. This is the first time I think I've ever heard about Ubi Forward. <laughs> uh, they released a trailer, I think, for um, like one of the think... new uh, the, the the season, but they don't think they've actually. You still want any more information on the characters or anything like that? So I think that the trailer yeah. was before you before it, anyways. Uh, uh, well, well, I'm not sure though. Just... I, I don't think wrong. we're actually in the. There's anything in for on related to Fortnite in the actual um, show. Probably. Yeah, not. I, we're just in the. I mean, the this is this is the first time I've heard of Ubi Forward, but is Ubi Forward the same thing as a Nintendo Direct? Yeah, or, pretty much. Yeah. yeah um, so. Okay. <laughs> Since I reckon talking about mid lane. One of the more important yeah, subjects. Uh, this one's definitely like archived. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll have some good stuff. I'll see if we can get some. If uh, anybody else is going to join us as well, because I feel like some people said they were going to. Um, Love to have a game mode where we play as the minions, but then the NPCs play as the heroes. Oh god, that'd be horrifying. <laughs> Do you want to get one shot by robots again? It's it's a it's a it's a horror game mode. You see, <laughs> you also uh, could cut your arms right open, but they have fun. 
suddenly there's a Kensei, what do you do? <laughs> the, the Kensei just zones you in mid lane. You run and you die instantly. <laughs> um, You're running and you suddenly die because Cal drops. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least, can you, can minions even see Cal drops? Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they no, they just oh, get through this cluster now. Oh, you yeah. hold your ankle, therefore you die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you know how it is. You step on, a, you know, a shark Legos. stone, and immediately, yeah, yes, it's Legos. <laughs> yes, Legos. That's exactly what it's like. But for him, you know, today like... is a All right, I will. Um, well, who's gonna boot up the game? I think uh, Normie and Silver, or um... uh, Silver is good. I think whatever. Uh, here we go. Uh -huh. So, just send an invite. Whenever? Yeah. Um I think what we're gonna do is we'll talk a bit about um how the mid lane works and like using minion targeted attacks and various other things. And then we will uh, we can split up into some groups and do some uh something called Russian two v twos or Russian one v ones, which are basically um Dominion where you only fight in the mid lane and the and you win by um yeah, it's basically it's basically a mid lane only Dominion. Um, okay. which is quite a good way to train your ability to fight in in minions as well. So that's what we could we do. That's together. actually a really good idea. I hate minions. I can't do anything around them. Like dodge. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's another, another thing we will mention as well. In courts when you're. Um... I would like to walk on minions as a platform. Just jump on their heads. That would be a cool fight scene. Crowd surfing. Crowd surfing. <laughs> that would be quite some. I uh, always get pulled back by these fuckers. I hope you can help me with that. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. You you get stuck with. I get body blocked by them, so yeah. I just stuck in the fight and can't uh, go to the opponent. Hmm. I don't think you can do much about that except killing them. Unfortunately. Yeah, you have to use um your moves that will take you. Are we also going to talk about pikemen, or is it just? Uh, no, we'll we'll, we'll, just, <laughs> yeah, that's what I <laughs> we'll just talk about minions in um dominion, not in not in pike. So we're doing oh. this. We're we're gonna play the game. Every uh, everybody's gonna or people are gonna play the game in the in the dojo today. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Some people can. Um, it's up to you. Yeah. Up to you guys if you if you want to. Um. I'd prefer, I'd prefer to play so that I can have right. a good, yeah. good can quality that stream today. We, oh, we, um, uh, what was that? What was that? Was it a two v two scrim game mode? Yeah, I remember Overload. Or Overlord showed me. It was like I think it's called Russian yeah, scrims, Russian where it's scrims. just the mid lane. Yeah. yeah. So that's the pop plan. So I'm going to give Silver and Normie the Dojo Sensei roles again. The uh, Let's you do um, priority speaker. Push okay. to talk and stuff. Um, just get the source ready. Mm. Yeah, I didn't have to synchronize achievements this time. All that as well. I think the game's <sighs> gonna boot fast today. Hello. 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 Has anybody else had the like? Issue of the game where it constantly keeps opening and windowed for some reason. Uh, yeah, that happens to me every single time. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> I, I just use. I just use Alt Enter every time I start it, and that which puts into full screen. So on PC at least. Oops, don't think it can start in windowed on console. Oh my god, that fixes everything. That makes things so much easier. I don't have yeah. to go into options anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I... It's a handy little tip. My I, I actually have reported this, but they haven't been able to. They haven't apparently been able to replicate it. So, and nothing. I gotta nothing. get a macro for that. That's so much easier. <laughs> I'm sort of. <laughs> I'm AFK for a moment. You in a bit? All right. I sort of fixed that internet thing fiddle from last night, and now oh, my NAT type's orange. I mean, that's better than restricted. Um, but now I gotta figure out how to get it green again. <laughs> yeah. Didn't somebody I... put a guide for that in here? At some point? Probably. I don't know. 
I never had NAT type issues, except when I was in college, because I couldn't ever play for Honor in college, because the NAT type was too restricted. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, all right. Some of it up. Wait, do you even have? I don't even think I have Spaniard. Me neither. Oh, okay. Um, I will. Well, you can write Stag for now. Whilst I will. Uh, my name is Filthy Spaniel, so it's the same one you play as it is on in this Discord. <laughs> That it? Yep. They should have added you as well. What's uh... Okay. Okay. One second. Um... I'm back. All right. So, who's going to set up the uh, lobby? You want to set it up, Nomi, or? So... Yeah, I can do it. All right. Um, yeah, you know what we could do it on. Um, well, Citadel Gate is the classic one. Um, for uh, yeah, or we can do high for it because it actually has a bit of a difference between the points. Yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, we can do different maps, just whatever. I only have you two, so you can uh -huh. invite whoever else. All right, I'll invite Stag. All right. Oh, I haven't got it yet. I haven't got it. I have you yet on my list. Um, go. Thank you. Um, Devonki, do you want to come and join as well? Anybody who, anybody who wants to... Um, like joining this, the the actual, you know, uh, playing in the thing. We'll just just add um, one of us. Sure. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Why not? So mine, mine, and, and you play is the same as um, as on the, the Discord. So it's filthy spaniel. Um, I guess that, that's what we can do is a little um we can rotate it in and out of doing so else can watch the uh scrims as they happen I guess. Um is there anyone else? We have one spot left. One spot left. anyone else want to join us? Um who, who's who's in the lobby got stag, fiddle, donkey box. Right, whatever. I'm not sure. People want in they can say. Yeah, if you if you just um you know, want to come in? Just it's all right. We'll invite you, and then you just get. Oh, I didn't game. put feats on. I'm so done. We'll go over the game's feats as well. Hold on, I'll restart real quick. What's it we pick? Or does it not uh, matter? So uh, whatever you want, really. Yeah, whatever you want. Um, although best to pick a character who you think is going to be good in mid. So tend to avoid assassins. Okay. Um, you know, whichever character you're comfortable with. But um, preferably static guard, preferably 
good um, hitboxes. That's the I mean... classic mid lane characters, I think, like Kensei, Nabushi, um, Jian Hu now. Um, okay, Goki. Goki is now quite a good mid lane character. Can I, I, I'm going to make an argument. Technically, right. Shinobi can be a mid lane. If he has Yama Uba and Nuke Kukushi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shinobi actually does got very good mid clear. Um, we'll just, we can out of just all go the, random, he I has think. the best um, mid clear out of all the assassins. So, um, I'm gonna go Goki, I think. Because I want to. Me too. Is single pick on or no? Uh, no, no. Not on. Okay. No, so. uh, do you want me to pick like a character that does clear mid well, or do you just want me to? Pick Kensei, I'm gonna show a few things. Okay, I pick Kensei. Uh, I guess I'm smoke. I like your Warmonger's outfit. Thank you. Uh, am I clear to hear? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're, you're, you sound, sound, sound perfect. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. So I guess we can start off talking about some of the basics of why mid lane is so important in Dominion. So first thing you need to know is that the scoreboard, or at least the, the UI, does not tell you the full story. When you when you have a, a zone and it gives you a hundred uh, soft points and you'll see like the little plus one that pops up when you when you just passive hold the zone, or plus two if you're boosting, well that implies plus one per second, but that is not the case. The, um, the All of the Dominion zones, the capture zones and the mid lane actually give different amounts of points. And it, I think, if I'm correctly, the, the side points give about, um, I think they do about 77 points per minute, whereas the mid lane gives 130 points per minute. So the mid lane get, and then when you when you're boosting a point it's i think 140 or something it, 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 um, let me just check my numbers actually because i've got them somewhere around here um essentially boosting uh, mid mid lane is almost as good just on its own as be, sitting in a zone and boosting so okay so this is why partly why mid is so important generates more points for your team and you can if your team is holding a side point and you have control of mid you will be out earning the opponents if they are just boosting their one one side point so this is a big reason why um this sort of sitting on a side point and boosting all game technique just doesn't doesn't work because it won't won't give you let me find like oh wow this is nice oh wow oh, I'm sorry just looking at a, a spreadsheet that I had been working on and somebody else has been doing some more work on it which is which is cool um yeah so all right this is here okay so all right I got my number slightly wrong uh, a captured point on its own is forty four points per minute the mid lane is eighty one points per minute. And boosting a point is 111 points per minute. So when you are holding mid lane and a captured point, even if you're not boosting, you're getting more points than you are than you would be doing if you were if you were boosting um, just one point. Okay. Uh, and so so that's from a pure numbers perspective, that's partly why mid lane is so important. The second reason why mid lane is so important is, as you know, it's the only one that you can't take just but the heroes themselves can't take it. it's the minions who do the taking of the point and the minions who also do the holding of the point which means that if you're fighting on mid lane and the enemies come to fight you fight you but your your minions still hold mid lane you will be you won't have your point generation stalled by the enemy's presence whereas if you're fighting on a on a contested point and somebody comes and fights there fights you on that point then you're not getting any more points just because of the fact they're in they're in that in they're in the zone with you so uh so yeah mid lane it's it gives you points even if you're even if you're fighting in it 
Um, it gives you more points per, than other than other capture zones. And of course, it's also the only point that you can take, or at least take from the opponents, without having to kill any of their heroes. So if you're in a situation where you are triple triple cap, for example, and the, the enemy has all the capture zones on the map, it's, you almost always want to go first for mid lane, because that's the one that you can capture and you can take back without worrying about having to kill opponents who might have a big feat advantage, for example. So a lot of players in general in like matchmaking tend to avoid and ignore the mid lane, but actually it's incredibly important. And if you watch um, competitive Dominion matches, you'll see that they focus very heavily on the mid lane um, and the importance of ver in various maps when you have a, a zone that is closer to the mid lane tends to be more important and more heavily focused as well. So um, when you start off, in ten people tend to go to either the mid lane or the zone which is closest to the mid lane and therefore the most important. So in this on this map, it's much faster to get from capture zone C to the mid lane than it is to get from capture zone A to the mid lane. So you definitely need to, so that's why C is often prioritized by teams um, picking up on when, when they... Sorry, what map are you guys playing? Because I'm not... Oh, okay. So, well, are we, high four. Are we streaming four. on gotcha, Discord as well or just... I'll, on I'll the... stream on Discord as well. Okay. So we, we're streaming on uh, Twitch, but we're also streaming on, on Discord as well. So Let me know if it works. Yeah. So we are we're on high four currently. Um, actually, C tends to be the prioritized point in quite a lot of um, matches. In quite a lot of sorry, in quite a lot of maps where the they are spread out evenly and there's no clear home point. Um, on Temple Garden is another point, another example of a map where Zone C is very much more highly prioritized um, than Zone A because getting all the way from C to mid is is very fast, whereas getting all the way from A to, to mid takes you a long time. Um, Something else you can see, and you can see from the scoreboard here, and, and you know every time you kill a minion, you get a little pop-up saying you have achieved points. And not only does holding mid generate points to your team, but quite a lot of them as well. Killing minions also gives you points. So in back in the day, it used to be the case that a lot of um, there would be a one player per team would, whose job essentially would be to farm mid. So you'd capture mid, and then they would try and kill enemy minions in as fast as you can get in, as fast as they arrive. And, and those, um, it's often about 50, 50 points a minute you can get just by killing minions as soon as they spawn in. Um, and when you're holding mid, when your side holds mid, the enemy minions spawn at a faster rate. So so once, so it, it, you can get a lot of points just by farming, farming mid. And in fact, if I remember correctly, that the maximum you can get based on this like the spawning amount that and the points from mid is is more if you're farming mid than having two points and one of them boosted the only thing that um can out is is boosting both points at the same time will will generate more points than just holding mid and farming mid but as you know that's quite unlikely to happen so mid, mid is very important for for farming points and and probably like it's one of the reasons why in the past Aramusha always used to have a very surprisingly high win rate in the full population, even though he was, you know, not a great character. Probably because a lot of Aramusha players used to tend to just sit in mid lane and press R1, R1 over and over again, in my opinion. Um, and that's why I think they had an inflated win rate. Because you've, if you have a you're playing matchmaking, you want to ensure your team wins. A good way to do that is just to farm minions, because in matchmaking, a lot of people will just ignore that. So. A little thing to top of what you're saying there about Musha. The reason why he was also so good on mid was not just because of the fact that, you know, he could just he could clear a lot, like you could just keep on clearing mid over and over again. It's also because it's really, really hard to take the lane from an Musha because of uh, how full block works. Because as an example, Lawbringer before, he had the safest clear in the game. You couldn't punish him unless you made a read. But if you're a Musha, you just went up in his in his face. If you tried to Sonus attack, you got a free fall block. And you just you just keep on staring at the opponent because they can't clear mid because they just get punished every single time. That's why Musha was so good on mid. He just struggled in getting the line back because he doesn't have safe clear. Uh, wouldn't uh, be Conqueror also useful then? Yeah, yeah because it's a super safe zone. 
The issue is just he can't really do anything but uh, really play mid. Yeah, he's kind of useless other than mid. He's probably easily the safest character in mid because of the fact that the zone just it cannot get punished unless you it, make like it, a hard read. It was also the uh, the old body count that was broken with Conk and his uh, theater mm. team, so that yep. was... And you used to be able to <laughs> get... Um, old body count, used, body count used to be a lot stronger than it is now, but also Conk used to have uh, heal on block also used to work off minions as well. So you not only could you heal from, um, you know, killing minions, you could also heal from, like, being hit by them whilst you're full zone, full blocking. So yeah, one yeah, zone, a... one zone heals like freaking fifty HP or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's what that's how it used to be. Yeah. So nowadays, uh, with the nerfs to healing feats in particular, body count, it's much harder for for somebody to stay in mid and farm it indefinitely. But being able to uh, farm mid safely is very important, um, and I think so. So Silver mentioned that with how Amrusha could contest mid. But I think we start. So we want to talk about um, when it comes to actually farming mid. I mean, like uh, why you do it? Yeah, yeah. Or... So which characters and sort of the kind of things you're looking for for actually killing minions safely when your opponents are nearby so uh, i mean i guess i can show it off here with normie yeah. if you look at normie stream like if i have mid lane here and i want to i say i want to clear a few minions my, my my safest bet as ken say is just i'm going to unlock zone like i'm just going to unlock zone because if normie tries to get close he gets hit by my unlock zone he can't parry it like if i just unlock zone here he can't parry it out so I, that's my safest clear of course since he is uh Warlord, he can crushing he can crushing counter, so he'll just crushing counter my zone instead. But otherwise, most characters can't punish me for just locking on some minions and zoning. Yeah, which is why my clear is so much safer because I can just, especially because you know the zone has such, such a big hitbox, I can just zone on some minions. Might uh, Blackfire throw you over if zoning? Yeah, yeah. If uh, if BP gets close enough, he can flip me. On reaction, if he gets close enough, because the first part of my song will get blocked, and then the second part will uh, get flipped by Black Pyre. Okay. Uh, here, let's talk uh, a fight in mid. One v one in the mid, what, what that would look like. Okay, so obviously it depends on who owns the mid lane, or if it's contested. Usually at the beginning of a match, you might see a two v two in mid, um, while there's another two v two on a side point. Usually, one of those two uh, characters on each team will be, be decent or better at uh, clearing mid. At the beginning of a fight, the character that's better at clearing mid will probably want to try to uh, lock onto one of the enemies and try to get some minions cleared, like this. Maybe a Nobu, maybe a Kenzie, maybe something else. Warlord is not really the best. But who wins the mid fight wins, I, I'd say, a lot more than winning uh, the side point fight, because like Spanier said, point gen. Uh, not to mention that there is also a free point while uh, you're fighting on side one side point in mid. Yep, in the case and, when teams rotate and don't go both, they normally tend to leave one point uncontested until mid mid lane fight is is done. So once you if you win in mid, you can go and capture that side point as well. In mid mid fights, I'd say that's where you can really tell what character is better at this and what character is worse. As a Warlord, I can't really do much to win mid over or defend it, really, against, say, a Kensei or maybe a Zanhu. Like uh, we showed earlier, I can CC or full guard his external zone, but that's what, like, that's 17 damage, and he clears, like, 10 minions or more. And if he doesn't hit me with it, that's just free health, free whatever. It, it really depends on what character you are and what character they're fighting. If I was, say... I can't see myself, I and mean, we were having a can see mirror in mid. It would really just be out clearing each other, other than fighting, because I don't know. Can see one v ones are just ah, it's just not what you want to do. Or so if... you mentioned having attacks locked onto minions. Can you talk a little bit more about how that works and right. what the benefit of that is? So if I'm unlocked onto silver right now. If I zone, I might clear minions, I'm gonna hit him. He can parry my attack, he can deflect it, whatever character he is, he can uh, counter my attack. If I unlock 
hold a direction, a direction key, whatever, the stick on controller, uh, towards the minion and zone. Well, I'm not going to him again. I'm locking onto the minions. He cannot parry it. He might be able to CC it, uh, depending if I actually hit him. But point is, he can't defend himself against that. If he tries to dodge attack, I have fast enough recovery there I can block it. It's making the move safe. Um, it also makes it quicker. Yes, also dead angling is another thing, which, uh, you know, depending on what angle uh, the attack is uh, happening comp uh, on your enemy, it might hit faster or slower, whatever. It might not hit at all. And um, is, it only, is it only zones that can do that, or can you do that with everything? Uh, you that... can do that with everything. Obviously, there's attacks that are better for it, like I can say zone uh, or zones in general. There are some characters that have really big hitbox heavies, maybe JJ, if you have a JJ on your team. Um, there are some characters that really can't even compete in mid lane. Like, for example, Glad, who was a meta pick up until uh, recently, uh, who was just completely unable to clear mid unless you spend, what, like four times the time that a uh, Kensei or uh, something other character would spend in mid. Um, clearing mid lane, trying to take it back, or just clearing in general, is, I'd say, pretty much impossible if you're not going to unlock your attacks. Um, well, of course, as long as your enemy's there. So, if I were to have a mid fight here with Silver, so, uh, well, mid lane's not really anywhere now, so if we clear it real quick so I can have it. Alright, so we'll, we'll let the blue team get some... Oh, actually, you mean the... Uh, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Uh, in terms of Shigoki, I really like his rework, but I'm curious about his uh, strength in Dominion. Oh. Yeah, like in team fights in mid lane or stalling stuff like that or ganking. We'll talk about separate characters after we get done with the just main All thing. Right. All right. Just uh, remind remind me if there's anything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be fighting silver here. If I I'm low health, he has health advantage. If I try to unlock an attack, he might not be able to punish it fully with his logic attack, whatever the damage that is. But he still it's still very risky for me to do this. Plus, he can make a read, he can do anything, I'm going to lose the fight. Just in mid, that's just the case. In a 1v1, you might be able to start it out, uh, maybe wait for a teammate. Obviously, you can get a teammate in mid, but it's not very good to take a fight in mid when you're uh, at a disadvantage. So, um, I got a question. Yeah? Uh, how, when is it, when does the game consider it? under one or two teams control because sometimes like there's always that one minion and the minion lane is still held by that one minion or okay. sometimes like how does the game so i think it's here, supposed I'll, to I'll be three I'll... minions yeah so three minions, minions have, have to be at the line they yeah. have to be at the end so of the you line need three minions on your team to reach the line and then they will capture mid and also need to have well not the enemy minions over the line so at this point you can see there's loads of uh there's loads of yeah. um, minions here, but we've not taken it yet just because there's some minions on my team that still haven't been pushed back. Now that all my minions have been pushed off mid, it's now taken by uh, by the attackers, and they will hold it as long as even a single one of their minions is still alive in the in the group of minions that is at the front. So oh, okay. they have to be uh, either, you know, well, like here, they've been pushed back or off the front line, um, and lots of being killed as well, but that these ones here, I guess that my minions are now over it. Actually, maybe, maybe it works differently per map because I've definitely the testing we did on Harbor. It, um, it depends on the numbers of minions, how many minions there are. Uh, I, I, in terms of minions, I'm I'm kind of curious. In every map, the number of minions is always different, no? Because I've noticed yes, in some yes. maps there's a, an absurd amount of them, and in some there's it's... little. It's depending yes, on sorry. the mid size. Like so, if you look at Harbor, it's super small mid, so there's not a lot of minions. Whereas uh, Citadel, there's a bunch of minions because of how big mid is. Yeah, it's it's also each map has a slightly different spawn rate as well of minions. So in normally in the middle of mid, will when when your team is holding mid, you will have up to thirty five minions. Is normally is it? between thirty five and thirty um, thirty minions on mid, and you won't. And when your team is holding mid, and you have that number of minions on mid, you're, you won't you won't spawn anymore. 
Um, the enemy's minions will keep on spawning. And so you can get situations where you're holding mid with like 60 minions. And that's because what happened is you weren't holding it beforehand. Then you had a bunch of waves of your minions show up. And then you captured mid and then they all went through at once. But they won't be spawning anymore until you drop below that 30, uh, about 30 of them. But um, as I mentioned, there are mi different mid lanes have different amounts. And so um, on Gauntlet and on Harbour, you only need 20 minions is the is the limit. Well, at which point it won't carry on spawning anymore. And on maps on Citadel, Citadel Gate is the one where mid lane is the most important by a huge margin because normal because the mid minion spawn rate uh, is I think 70 minions per minute, whereas on most maps it's about 50. So. Uh, minion or, so they, they the reason in, in Citadel Gate is because there's um, more waves of minions. You know, I'll put it in Dojo General because I did a bunch of experimenting on this. Um, you know, it's going to be several years ago now, but um, uh, about all the different mid lane values and, and measuring them and stuff. That took me a long time, but yes, uh, they're they they're all different essentially. Um, when Citadel Gate is the most important. It has the biggest impact and harbor has the smallest also in the info hub it is in the info hub yes i'm just trying to find okay. that um... uh, another question yeah go ahead um so again i'm a veteran but i'm just uh, trying to understand the deeper mechanics again anyway so the minion spawn rates i, I th if i for my view when the enemy team uh, minions like have the capture points and there's all, oh, let's say, the your minions are dead. How to explain it? So yeah, what you're seeing, the, what you're showing right now, the minions there, and there's no blue minions. Is there like something, the uh, some modifier that affects the amount of minions that spawn in? Yes. So, um, as you talked about, the as you can see now, there's no there's no attacker minions coming in because you've got that they are holding the zone and they are holding the zone with at least thirty minions. Um, and if I was even if they if I was to clear like a sm small number of them, um, but still the zone would be theirs. You will have now a new attacker wave of minions will probably come in in a, in a short short while. But whilst you whilst you don't hold um, mid, um, you you will carry on spawning minion waves. They they come in little clumps, and when you're not holding mid, you also get an extra spawn of minions. They they come in like intervals and minions spawn they spawn more often if you're not holding it, so they uh, like if you hit that that thing that I just linked in the oh hello noodles my cat's making loud noises at me um the the little article that I linked in the um ow the article that I linked in uh, the dojo general will tells you a little bit about how the the numbers of minions so sometimes you get eight or sometimes you get 15 and the sort of the pattern varies on a per map basis um it's all a little bit bizarre but um i'll have how, both that i'll have both that and the info linked in the youtube vod description by the way so you can go check that out if you're watching i, that have, a, I have a question about mm -hmm. minion behavior is that okay yeah yeah, yeah, sure. yeah go ahead um, I noticed um, when you're cutting down minions and trying to capture, uh, you know, the minion lane, when the numbers are, uh, let's say they're down to like maybe four minions, you know, they tend to retreat and your minions are saying like, you know, the enemy is retreating and stuff like that. They cower and then fall back. How do you, um, is there like, aside from a feat, how do you influence that? How do you effectively do that? Um, like, what's the minimum amount of minions? Like, how how do you affect that? Um, oh. I'm... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you want to uh, say? Yeah, we already said how um, you need three minions on the enemy line to keep it as long as you have... Uh, ah, okay. As long as you so have... Oh, so as long as you have uh, one minion on the line, one friendly minion, uh, the line is going to stay there. Uh, you need three to capture the line, one to oh. keep it. And right. uh, no, what I mean right. is, uh, it's not so much like ha capturing it, but sometimes when they're down to like maybe three enemies uh, in the minion lane, they will like they will give it up and then yes. actually retreat back. They will run away like, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. What so, is what is uh, what's what's um, up with that? 
Honestly, I'm not 100% sure, but as you can see from the banner that's being placed down here, minions are affected by feats, and they also they are affect they are affected by your behavior near them. Um, and if you if you ever like so if you ever get a scenario where some minions are running away from mid lane and you run up to them, they will see you and they'll turn around and they will go back to mid lane as well. So I think minion behavior I don't fully understand it because it's it's pretty hard to work it out, but they definitely are affected by the presence of allied heroes, by the presence of enemy heroes, um, by I think they're affected by the overall score as well. Um, they tend to be a bit more aggressive if they overall score, and they're affected by feats and things. So healing banner will heal them. Minions actually have I, I don't really fully they they the attacks they do on each other do slightly. That's I mean. Yeah, they they, ha they do two damage on you per attack, but they, as you can see, they take like a certain number of attacks from another minion to kill each minion. So, uh, but that can be affected by Inspire, um, and they have like fractional amounts of health, which they do. Like they, you've just used Chilling Stare, and that will affect that will affect the minions. Our our minions now will die more easily because their defense has gone down. Um, so there are lots of little effects on minions. It's very hard to quantify and, and be able to tell you for certain how much uh, they're being affected by it. But yeah, yeah. I've also been experimenting with the uh, like, how do I make them retreat? You know, um, but from um, I don't know, maybe you guys will find it interesting. But I find that if they're down to like maybe three or two guys, they freaking retreat. You know, and your own minion will announce that too, which is very interesting. I'd like you guys to like experiment on that. That would be useful if we find a concrete, you know, conclusion. Yeah, could be. Yeah. I mean, there's um, one way to does... always have them retreat. That's using battle cry, the feet. But yeah. I think that one's a bit out I, I mean, aside from that, yeah, I mentioned aside from feet, you know, like. Yeah. Oh, crap. I exactly. did. Uh, Spank, can you pick me up, please? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Nope. Oh, God, I, I respond. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I, I had the UI, I had the UI turned off and didn't realize the the countdown was already there. <laughs> um. All right. Yes. There is uh, another small, well, not small, but there is another thing about mid lane. Um, let's imagine a scenario where we have A, blue team has A, orange team has C and mid. I'm a warlord. I'm trying to. Points are balanced. Obviously, they're not here, but they would be like 700, 700. I'm trying to get my mid back. There is, I can't say sitting right there. What do I do? I can't fight him. I'm going to lose the fight. Just try to get creative with your feats. Flask is the best one. There is, uh, what are the feats right there in the meta? Instead of there, are good for creating mid. Uh, I mean, there's bombs if you have them, of course. If you're yeah, not playing the uh, last one. Uh, that one you can't actually use on minions. See the, I mean, I get, you can use it on one person, but that wouldn't clear anything. Um, um, Caltrops is quite good for... for you, Caltrops is really, really good, because you, if you sit Caltrops on the enemy's spawn, or like close to enemy spawn minions, uh, they, they just all die, because they immediately, as soon as they walk on, so they just yep. get killed by... But as you know, Caltrops can do friendly fire damage, and it can kill your own minions as well with them, so yes. you've got to be careful when you're playing Nusha, not to put Caltrops to try and it's quite dangerous to try and clear mid with caltrops. Uh, that's um, the caltrops. Uh, there's, there's also a, what's it called? Arrow strike on the bushy. Yeah. And then there's fire trap on the bushy as well, of course. And you know, arrow storm on cat on characters. If you're yeah. if you're playing off meta characters and you're picking that, um, I guess catapult as well can can uh, um can be yeah, used. But it's more off meta yeah. picks. It's more of a like meme picks. I'd say there. I think you're picking it for fun. Yeah. Uh, if um, Nuxia's uh, Caltrops right. kill your own minions, uh, does the enemy get the points for killing them? Yes, they, they do. Do, do they? Uh, yes, they do. They do get oh. points for. They, 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 so they, they, you'll. That's good to know. Yeah. So minions don't generate points if they kill each other, but they do generate points if they are killed by your teammates. And that's another issue with the fire flask. You notice that if you drop fire bomb, uh, fire flask in the middle of min, mid, your minions will be fine. But fire trap does actually burn your own minions, and and your own minions will die walking through it. So um, you have to be careful if you're again using the. Bush I mean, it is normally it kills enemy minions faster, and doesn't and your minions survive for a little bit longer in the fire. Um, I don't know what's going on with these two guys, but they should be dead. 
<laughs> well, no, because they they is that's fire flask didn't doesn't damage them. So they are okay with being hit by fire flask, but um, if it was Nabushi's fire trap instead, they probably would have died. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's okay, so which team gets the points if you TK your minions? Uh, the enemy do. Okay. Um, and, yeah, all all feats, and in fact, you can also friendly fire your own minions as well, just by with regular attacks. It just just takes a lot of time, a lot of hits for them to go. Um, I think it's like four hits will kill your own minions. Of course, you'll target you know enemies preferentially, but, but yeah, you can kill your own minions, and that will that will give the enemy points. So be, you have to be a little bit careful not to do that. Um, I have seen in a few you know a few games where fired. Fire flash, fire trap has been left in mid, and a team has actually put themselves into breaking by killing a few of their own minions um, with fire trap going, which is kind of funny to see. It's 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 not a massive impact, but it does have an impact. So if you're normally, it's not a big enough impact to really worry about too much, um, and it's definitely yeah. better to fire trap in your own minions and kill a bunch of the enemy's minions and you know an opponent as well. Um, Snag has just dropped Smoke Bomb, which is another thing that's useful for minions. Smoke Bomb affects minion behavior. Minions in Smoke won't attack you. They won't be able to lock onto you, so you can revive um, in an opponent who's in mid lane, if dead in mid lane, surrounded by minions if you want to. Although... But isn't, isn't Smoke Bomb also banned? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. banned. Yeah, it is banned. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is just a tip for, um, you know, Okay. Game. I'm just going to point out, though, Although minions don't attack you in smoke, bots can attack, can and will attack you uh, in smoke. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, bot players will, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, bot heroes, I guess, is the phrase. Um, so, what else is there to cover other than... So, we talked a little bit about um, locking attacks onto minions. Um, some characters can do that in chain, can't they? Yes, they can. Uh, yes, they can. I so mean, can every every character can do it. Yeah, every character can do it, it just doesn't reach for most of them. Well, some characters can't target swap attacks in chains nearly as easily as others, so, like, uh, I know Tiandi, for example, can't target swap his heavy attacks in, in chains. So, but yeah, um, this is a... Janhu in particular is very good for this. You can... You can start off attacking somebody, and then you can turn around, unlock, turn around, use your heavy finisher with your really big hitbox, or just zone. To, or just zone, yeah, and, then, and that will target target that to a minion, and then that will hit your opponent as well. So that's very useful to do. Um, whoa, noodles! Um, and yeah, of course. Sorry, the noodles is my cat who's who wants some snacks and is um, jumping up at me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, another aspect, of course, when you think about minions, minions do damage you, and if you're fighting an opponent in minions, they will the they will be chipping you down slowly, and they can they do they do chip damage through block as well. So you could, so you can externally block minions, um, and you can also lock them. I think they normally attack top as well. So if you're guarding in top, they normally will hit your top guard. Um, but yeah, so if you can see where I am at the moment, these minions are attacking me, and they're hitting my top guard, although some of them hit my left guard. Um, but they will do chip damage through that as well. So you you know you're not you can't be fully immune to minions. Um, unless you've got a full block, and even then you're going to be taking, um, it's going to be taking, you're doing, taking stamina damage for blocking minion attacks. It, it's also the reason why you don't want to fight in the enemy's minions. Like as you see here, Spaniard, if he was fighting me, and he's like, I can give him indicators, he's, he's going to want to block. Then, you know, he gets hit by the minions as well. He, okay. like, he will slowly be eating damage here from yeah. the minions. While we're here, I want to ask, let's say you have no choice and you have to fight in the enemy mid lane in that you lose you don't die to the enemy but you die to the minions does the enemy receive assisted like you know, assist kill. Renown because the yeah she gets a kill right now oh, he has the kill yeah. oh wow yeah. so, um and something else that you just noticed there um well i got hit by silver's top and block ball because i back dodged away from him but i was yeah, in enemy minions good. and minions interrupt your dodge frames so uh, it's a if you you know if you get stuck in a corner against enemies with bashes you often can't dodge their bashes the same thing happens in minions if you dodge into minions including your own minions but it's definitely worse with enemy minions because your own minions will move slowly out of, slowly out of your way you will be unable to to use your iframes unless you're using an iframe dodge attack 
Um, so that's basically fighting in minions that your en in enemy minions is very disadvantageous. Um, and not surprisingly, even because you know, if you're fighting in a, a crowd of enemy soldiers, you'd expect to be um, eating a bit of damage. The, but, uh... Does the direction matter from the uh, minions? Uh, if they which guard they will hit. So if you stand on the left of them, they only will hit your right guard. Or does, uh, yeah, you, you can externally block them, but they will still be doing chip damage through it through that. So you you just want to block in the general direction. Yeah. Like right now, I'm fighting here. Obviously, I'm just gonna block to my left. Or if I'm like here, I'm just gonna block to my right. It's just general yeah. direction. But you're still gonna be taking. I think the difference the difference is not actually considerable. You'll take one damage instead of two damage um, from from blocking versus oh. from being hit by it. So yeah, still still can take a lot of damage from, from minions. Um, hmm. uh, uh, random question, but how much does Shukoki actually uh, heal from breaking a minion's spine? Uh, 10 health. Full, yeah, uh, just like normal. Yeah, oh, okay. It's like nice. if you're a uh, human. Or it's a nice uh, little trick with Shukoki where you can heal off minions. Yeah, although it's... Um, it's not particularly reliable if you're if there's a lot of minions because you will yeah. they will hit you in the recovery and you'll still be taking damage from, you'll from them. Eat more oh, than yeah, you because it yeah. doesn't have a hypo armor anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the minions don't interrupt hyper, interrupt regular attacks or hyper armor, so oh, right. you'll just be sitting there in, in the whole like full recovery animation. You'll still be sitting there eating damage from them, um, and if there's only if there's a bunch of them, you'll end up. It only takes you being hit by five times to take more damage than you you would to the heal for them, so and it's I've generally not wise. I know my fucking plays a lot of Shukoki and said it told me to fucking do it, so I was just assuming it's actually a viable thing. Uh, it used to be a lot better because it used to heal 18 instead of um, 10, but oh. it's still it's still usable. Um, I've just realized you can't you can't throw minions and then out of uh, out of luck go for a GB from the from the throw. You can only do neutral hacks now. Yeah, I mean, neutral hugs work on them, so you can't you can't hug when you're out of luck, can you? So uh, you you can throw out you, you can throw out of luck and then go for a hug there, which you were able to do, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess a thing I could quickly mention is, you you don't typically would want to do it, but there's kind of a minion tech. For example, if you're playing Kensei, I can unlock GB a minion, and then I can go into my chain. If the enemy tries to counter guard break, he's gonna eat a heavy. Because my heavies, because as Ken say, you go into your chain heavies from your guard break, which makes it so, you no. Know, my heavies have 100 MS guard break vulnerability, which makes him eat the heavy. Oh, it's kind okay. of a minion tech. Yeah. Otherwise, you would want to, you know, GB and then light immediately. Yeah. Can you I, reliably unlock and GB minions now? If, uh, if yeah, yeah. If you team? unlock and then GB immediately, you will always GB the minions. But otherwise, you will, you'll, you won't GB minions when you're in lock because they get staggered away from you. This is definitely a nice change overall. Yeah, it's, um, it's a very, very good change. So you can do that, as long as you follow up with the light, you can do that with anything? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. Yes. you can also zone, if you have, can get a zone over Kensei. With Ken, Ken, Kensei and Griffin are probably the two best, because they have 100 MS. They, they go into their chain off of GB, which makes it so they have 100 MS GB vulnerability. Because any character that's just a neutral heavy will get GB'd out of their heavy, because they're 433 or 44. 46, whatever, the GB vulnerability that you have. Yeah, uh, 433. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah. also, uh, since they go into their chain, that's also the reason why they can't uh, zone off of a guard break. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, if if your guard break attack is neutral, you can go for a zone. If it's in chain, you can't. Oh, I don't know. never really thought about that. Oh, nice one. Uh, definitely, you. Uh, if, you're, if you're playing Goki, you want to use your zone off guard break a lot, because it you um your regular heavy punish um puts you in super armor that can leave you in long recovery and you get eat a lot of attacks so are the minions tiny or are the heroes just ginormous <laughs> <laughs> what do we what do we think i uh, i think the 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 minions are, t are tiny and the heroes are ginormous <laughs> that's what it children. seems like it's just Except children they all just drank their fucking milk yeah <laughs> Except uh, uh, PK, she's she is tiny. PK imposter confirmed. If fucking uh, PK is confirmed <laughs> tiny, uh, her model needs to get bigger for some executions. Yeah, uh, I do know some people like to 
if they're playing uh, Zuma, not not really a competitive tip or a matchmaking tip to hide them, so make orange loadouts on uh, small characters running stealth, and you can actually hide quite effectively in your own minions that way. Oh, um, that's disgusting. That's, that's, that is fucking that's fucking well would you share that? I ain't gonna do that next time I play Assassin's. <laughs> Uh, it's something I it, it can get you. It can get you like a free hit sometimes, but you know, uh, is it worth it for wearing orange? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, some uh, people like to do that on PK and Shaman in particular. Uh, Nusha as well. Fucking Agent Forty Seven, Jesus. Yeah, it's a tactic. Let's go in there. Um, shall we now? Should we split up and do some like? The Russian 1v1s, um, if we've talked about all the... So the reason they're called Russian 1v1s is just because uh, it's it's a training exercise that um, the Russian competitive players started. They, I mean, they sort of developed it. And, uh, they doesn't it involve steroids? It doesn't. It just, it's basically you, you 1v1 in mid lane, and it's a, it's a Dominion match. You just put, like, first to first 1,000 or first to first 500 on, um, and you, you have a 1v1 against your opponent in mid lane, essentially. Um Normally you have feats on, so people tend to pick characters with body count so they can, you know, actually heal up um, with it. But you can do it without feats as well, and it's just a good way of practicing uh, fighting in in mid. Um, and and people do that as well. You can do Russian two v twos, which are the same thing, just there's two of you. Um, and I guess maps like uh, Sanctuary Bridge tend to tend to end up in Russian four v fours, just because that's how they. Let's see, fight in mid mid fights to um, drag it a long time. Yeah, uh, Russian right. force. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Whoever was trying to say something. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, how do you do Russian scrims without feats? Just don't you can just turn feats off in. Um, no, in... I mean, like, yeah, I I know, but like, that's sort of because you don't because the point of Russian scrims is that you don't your only method of healing would be the minions. So if you do it without feats. You just have to rely oh, yeah. on execution. Well, you, or... yeah, you, you might not you might not be have feats many characters that have feats that um I mean yes you can try and execute if, in your own minions if you if you if possible. Oh, oh noodles, come on. Cough, assassin, um, cough. Uh yeah, or you can like it's actually often a tech a strategy if you want to not feed your enemies renown, people people do let themselves be killed by opponent minions. Um it's in a in a map where you have if you sometimes if you've got nowhere to heal and you've got um your your low health. Sometimes it's best to just die and not feed an owl. Um And sometimes you'll want to jump off a ledge for that. But if there's no ledges available, you can get the enemy minions to just kill you. Um, so a lot of times you'll see this uh, enemy, like a player with low health, will just go and farm mid until they die, um, which is you know it generates points and doesn't feed the enemy renown. It's quite quite a handy little trick to, to use. Um... Yeah, so let's let's split up into we can split up into some groups. I'll make some more voice chats, um, and yeah, we can all do some do some Russian one v ones. Unless there's anything else that Normie or Sil want to cover, is there really anything? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's, it's pretty basic when you come down to it. It's just about like unlocking your attacks onto minions, and, like the trying numbers. to clear. Yeah, the numbers right, well, are more complicated. Yeah. yeah, how about you? I mean, uh, mid itself we... is pretty like it's it's it, it's simple to play in like the basics. It becomes, of course, when you like get higher up, it becomes much harder to play mid because you can't just clear safely because people are going to be making reads when you're going to try to clear. Like if you're just MMing, it's not like you're going to be every single time you try to can, can say so and you're going to be peeled or you're going to be interrupted or whatever. Mm. But when 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 we get into it and you know we start playing against good players, every single time I I try to can say so and I'm going to get headbutted or something like there's actually going to be one ones in it and there's yeah. going to be like people trying to interrupt every single time you do anything so i've moved the 1v1 scrims hub up um so it's a little bit easier to find in the voice channels so if you uh, scroll down you can filter into 1v1 uh channels there and you can do some Russian one v ones just yet yeah, set up a just do it like a custom uh dominion and you can turn the feats on or off, or it's up to you. Um, and yeah, that's how it goes. All right, I will jump into one as well, see if something else comes from me. Right. Yeah, we can just split up. Okay, see, uh, I don't so see the channel set. Oh, never mind. We can have, uh, I mean, 
the lobby would be the best for just uh, two people to fight. Uh, Hello. Hello. Let me get off the grim game quick, quick. Yeah. All right. Do you have the same name like in Discord? Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> I ask if you have the same name in Discord. Uh, yeah, you can just copy paste it. Request, uh, request is out. Sorry? Request is out. Yeah, I, I accept it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll go and let you. So we're doing with or without fits? Uh, we can do without. Okay. Renown? Oh yeah, never mind. It's disabled. Everyone went back to, to the Dojo chat. Okay. I'll go back that too. I, I wanna see what, what happened. And, but there's a lot of stuff in the uh, way, so I, I it's a bit problematic. I need to go back to sort of my finish feeding my cat so she doesn't Jump oh. me and call me anymore. Uh, right. but yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come on, yes, Arthur, and be a huge Russian TV tour? Wait, you guys go back to, yeah, to, the, to the chat. You need to give me like 10 minutes. I need to send this email first. I was here to just speak. Hey. Okay, man. He's important. He sends we emails. Don't have, we don't have uh, four. We can just do one of these. Uh, guys, yeah. why did everybody go back to the to the Dota chat? Uh, they just uh, split up into a uh, while. Groups, I guess. Where did everyone go, though? Oh wait, yeah. I, I will span your left to do this thing, I guess. We're just gonna demonstrate yeah. what we're gonna do. Since we don't have four, we'll do. I mean, we can just invite mid game, kind of. I guess we can just do basic mid one ones. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You, you invite me because I just want to do the game. Okay. Yeah, I can get you. What do I pick? I do not know. I'm gonna get. We're just doing it in, in the big hall. Okay. Uh, I suppose we can go with that too. Okay, I go up again. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, can, can I pick right Mushka now, or do you want me to pick like... Pick whatever, pick whatever, pick whatever. Um, Shug in forest right now, Uh, definitely, obviously way better. Um, Definitely usable. Uh, there are some teams that are thinking about picking him up right now. So if you do follow some of the tournaments or scrims, whatever happens every now and then, you might see some of that. If there's... there's a trick for him, if I remember, the Demon Ball, where he guard breaks and slams. You don't want to do that in minions. Yeah. Um. It. No, I meant in near a wall. When you oh yeah. Wall, but that's, yeah. Uh... When you do a Demon Ball. You get a guaranteed hug. Yeah, that's uh, completely unrelated to me, though. All right. Uh, shouldn't you be telling him? Can you still heal off of minions with the uh, demons in base? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's, uh... we also do the long killing animation, so it's not very useful. Yeah, yeah and it only eat... it's, it only heals a ten. You can often end up eating as much damage from yeah. the minions as you would from probably even more. Maybe if you clear the lane and then grab one of the retreating ones, maybe then it's viable. Yep. No, it's a niche thing. Yeah, it's nuts. On reaction, baby. So like, as you saw there, I, I was fighting him in minions, his minions. Uh, it's not a lot, like, you think about it, whatever, two damage, but when there's like seven, whatever, ten minions around, you just get melted. More damage from the minions than the actual player. Yeah, I mean it's about as much. You know, just it needs a few of them to hit you, and it's basically the same as being hit by a light attack. Right now, I would be fighting to get it back because he has it, and he's trying to obviously put pressure on me, keep me from doing that. It's an arrow. I can't really roll away and do it. 
if I do that, he all guards me. That's why Aris kind of actually pretty strong. Uh, he was all right before his rework in mid. Um, obviously, character was like actually uh, fucking D tier. But he's all right now. He's always been really good in mid. That's like his one thing that he's always been pretty good at. Yeah. So right now, uh, I have minion's advantage. He's going to lose it regardless. I'm just going to 1v on him, see if I can beat him, and then see he's got to get a rotation or whatnot. Uh, when, I don't know, in, in mid ones, if both of your points are capped, your whole, whole team will probably be on mid, if not dead. Um, it's pretty hard from there to go and decide what to do. We can't ape a point, or oh, let's all for going to a point. Uh, the other guy from the other point is going to come in clear mid. You basically did nothing. Uh, furthermore, you actually lost a bunch, of, a bunch of points. So usually you'll have two people protecting, two people going to get a point, something like that. But uh, like, like Spaniel said, it's really important to have mid. Mid is usually breaking mid or well, clearing mid uh, or not clearing mid is most of the time what ends up uh, deciding if a game is uh, over or not because you clear mid, unbreak your team, whatever, you don't clear mid, you don't unbreak, you die, it's GG. It's not really like, it's not hard, you get used to it and uh, it just becomes like muscle, muscle memory. There are characters that are obviously so much better, like our, uh, like can say like, what else is there? Like Zan Hu, like uh, whatever else. There's characters that are bad, glad, uh, took his average. Uh, what other characters? Let's take the ones in the reworks. Uh, JJ is pretty average, even though he has huge hitboxes. Oh, is there any other ones that are exceptional at clearing mid? And Lawbringer is very good. Lawbringer is yeah. no, he's very safe. That's like yeah. his biggest thing. Yeah, he's, he's always been really, really safe. There's a lot of uh, pretty bad characters that actually yeah. have a yeah. pretty insane clear. Like uh, there's Raider, there's Lawbringer, uh, there is Shinobi. Uh, Raider has good clear, but his his clear is very unsafe. Yeah, Shinobi even has good clear. His zone is uh, really good at clearing. Really good, Obviously, yeah. you can also heal if if you have all your feats. And I have for some reason using the Kickleby. Yeah. Funny I mean, that the character with the least amount of HP is has good clear. It's I mean, he always used to be amazing clear when he was back in, back when he had his, oh. his you know, yeah, animations. Were very, very the good, good old minion killing animations. Um, Zhan Hu, when, if you put, if you're running Nuka Kubi on Zhan Hu, he's got the, the fastest mid clear in the game because you zone and then um, yeah, you zone, zone dodge general. attack, zone, dodge attack over and over again. Um, and you could just, just power through them in like seconds and get a whole. The whole minion row cleared. Um, who else has got good? Yeah, it's, it's characters that have got lots of characters that have got bad clear. Um, yeah, usually, uh, if we're talking a scrim environment, you don't really worry about oh, uh, like who's gonna clear mid. It's like Glad isn't in the meta anymore. Glad was the one character I'd say he probably has the worst clear in the game. Yeah, him and uh, Shaman easily. Yeah. I mean, Shaman, Shaman, yeah. Shaman Zone will clear maybe like. If you get lucky, like 10 to 12 minions. I mean, Sh Shaman has the benefit of like, she can light, heavy, light. Uh, she can light, heavy, light, light, heavy, light. light. You can just keep on spamming like over yeah. and over again with her infinite chain, kind of. Yeah. Right. Like, at least Nusha has her zone, like light, light, zone is okay. Light, light, Glad has nothing. Good. Yeah, Glad, like, yeah, Glad just had nothing. Uh, he, had, he had better mid clear back when it had minions, minion animation. Um... So he was the one character that was just obsolete in mid lane, which was a pretty big drawback because I might be, I'll have to go to a team fight that might not be really winnable or boost a point instead of being able to just get mid or I can just fight in mid, but there's like a almost 100% chance that somebody's going to come and fight me just because it takes so long for a glad to clear, especially if we're talking like mid lane maps, like Citadel or Sang, uh, Sang Bridge. Where the main point is the midpoint. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just like you're killing one, one minion per hit, and you need thirty light attacks to to clear them. You know, you're not going to be. It's going to take you a long ass time to clear. Yeah. That. Uh, is there for feats? We talked. We said flask. 
obviously Flask, Flask uh, yeah. is really good at it. You do want to watch out because if Flask is usable in a team fight situation, it might end up being um, better. What are the feats? You're not gonna want to use projectiles, obviously. You're not gonna waste the tier three feet for one minion. There's like, um, as we were talking about, like yeah. arrow storm, arrow strike, bomb feats. Um... I, I invite me if you want to do anything. I can do Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Shigoki Sanhu and Musha, and then whatever you want to pick, Mister Roster. I, I want to try Shigonker. Yeah, you have so when you players. are in fight with um in mid and you have your do you do you tend to like have one character you, you so let's say you're you're fighting in mid and you're it's you're playing Kensei and well yeah let's say oh, yeah. Kensei and Aramush and you wanna do you want your Aramush to be like protecting your Kensei so that Kensei can clear without being obstructed or something like that? Yeah, well obviously Aramush as we saw can uh counter the people trying to uh clear while also in uh, Aramusha Kensei uh, team the uh, Kensei has better clear so you're just gonna have the arrow on the enemy stopping them from clearing or 1v1ing the uh, other guy if it's a 2v2 while your Kensei clears it's obviously the character with better clear is gonna clear while the others fight out obviously you don't uh, let your teammate be ganked you don't want to do that but uh, if they can one view on, then you can clear. Or if there's two people clearing and uh, two people one view running, it's basic uh, team fighting, really. But yeah, every every minion you don't. Okay, back before there was mid lane characters. Uh, I think the last one before that meta went away was uh, Lawbringer. Yeah. Um, which like was absolutely nuts because. So a light parry, 50 damage, delete an entire character because of it, uh, and the safest zone in the game, which he still has, maybe not because of that, but safest zone for clearing minions. Yes. And of course, there was all body count where with the Lobbinger you zone once, you get half of your HP back. A body count actually got nerfed, what, like two, three times? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's now only one health and one stone that you got. It was originally five health. And then went there down are... to two and two stamina, and then went down to two and one stamina, and then just down to one and one. Damn, five health. That's so yeah, much. Yeah, no, it was insane. <laughs> I don't think I even was around when five health was a thing. I think that I was, was back in the day when um, Fiat Lux used to kill minions as well. Yeah, I So you could think. Fiat Lux and fully heal yourself as well. So I actually honestly think that it would be kind of nice if Fiat Lux did now kill minions again because. It doesn't have. It has a much lower, um, a lower, a smaller radius than it used to. Um, oh yeah, it's like tiny now. I mean, yeah. and dude, like, because the feet's not really useful. So the feet is literally why? useless now. You not react to head bash. I cannot. <laughs> oh, it's the same speed as the light. Of course, he can't. I mean, that's really. It. It's like it's mid lane. It's nothing. It's slower than a light. Still no use in the animation, what can I say? You have to do to prepare. I don't care, so no use in the animation. Oh, is there anything else by it? Um, struggling for uh, I love that. Now, I, guess, uh, <laughs> I knew it. Just enjoying, watch, just enjoying you watching. Just enjoying watching. Oh yeah, nice yeah. target switch. To, uh, yeah. We talked about smoke bomb working in minions. We talked about... Well, obviously, they, you know, minions cut interrupt your executions and and someone like that. And, and I love vibes. the roster. Oh, uh, yeah, Juggernaut works. If you if you're in, I mean, if you if you want to waste your Juggernaut, you can uh, you can use it to get a revive or an execution in minions and not have to worry about being interrupted by mid by them. Um, so that's something, I guess. Um, Battle Cry is one of the best feats in the game because it. So for tier three, it's just on rubbish characters because it, you know, it gives you a free mid that all the enemies will run away from you, and um, it also gives you a map wide, like thirty percent damage for far. It's more like twenty percent damage. For yeah, they instantly run back as well, which uh, I didn't yeah. actually even know until like a few months ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, they I mean, do come back, so it's they're not they don't run away forever, but they, but I think it depends on if there's um. 
uh, if there's an allied ally heroes nearby because I think they they um are more likely to run away to to carry they carry on fleeing until they 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 see somebody who'll tell them to get back to the front line. <laughs> um, Wish I had the battle cry now because I I would like to actually use it. I'm not gonna back up for that though. I don't, know. I don't think there really is anything to talk about anymore. Yeah, um, I guess it's all just uh, stuff you can. I think most of this little these little things you can implement in your your own gameplay. Um, so Goki Goki is actually quite safe as well because he can chain into his um, unblockable in his use his hyper armor zone <laughs> and then he can chain into kind of move into his chains, which is nice. Any anybody who can chain zones into into a, in something is is handy for clearing because you can um oh that's the other one yeah uh, feats like uh you're not running it on on your Shenhu, but uh champion uh, winner's advantage is triggered on minion hits as is deadly so you can and and i think so is feats like um thick skin and uh any feats that that rely on you taking damage before you before you get damage boost, I think they're affected by minions being. Is, is the new one? I, I don't know actually. Um, I don't think it is. That would be a bit dumb. <laughs> it would be rather dumb if it is, but it might, might well be. Um, I know that the thick skin definitely is. It's, it's actually useful for that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know um, if this one does. Nice. Only of you running, or are you running jug? Your Shagoki's here. I mean, there's two Shagos that are probably running Smoke Bomb. Oh, oh wait. No, uh, Tetz has the new one. All right, see if you... See Tetsu, if, it... see if you... Yeah, see if you props on minions. On uh, minions being... Hitting you. Yeah, okay. It does. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, if it does, that's a really stupid. Yeah, that would be very, very busted. But, yeah. I popped it for. Uh -huh, I'm dead. Right, it's actually uh, they're talking about uh, Shigoti's tier four yes. and um, if it should be banned or not from uh, scrims. Do you think they're going to? Uh, well, from what we've talked so far, it doesn't look like it. Uh, we're talking that it is forty-five seconds long. Yeah, yeah. which is uh, crazy to be honest. Uh, no matter what anybody says, I think personally the feat itself is just really bad design from any angle you look at it yeah i mean it needs to be nerfed down to at least 15 seconds like unblockable is or something yeah that or like or like there's another thing with like there's no not really any counterplay to it uh square actually made the argument that oh when a shuloki uses its tier 4 you're gonna be forced to use your kit to like be more aggressive and stop putting like gbs whatever bashes to interrupt but it was like one GB, and you're done. Oh, that's really it. It's what like thirty, almost forty damage guaranteed on it. On yeah, everything. it is a bit nuts, really. Um, and there's also the the bug with um, Iron Lance where you can print. Or, like, you you cannot forever. gank. It's so funny. Come player, by the way. <laughs> do you think we should? Would you say say that Iron Lung should be banned on Shigoki in that case? Um... Uh, no. I mean, it is a bug, and since it's a feet bug, uh, actually, to be honest, I was gonna say since, like, oh. since it's a feet bug, it's gonna be used, but that's it's gonna be fixed, but that's not the case because we have a does takedown work? I don't think it even I'm does. roster on that one. Uh, Silver does takedown work now? Uh, oh, Which you mean? mean... That it was broken for a while. Yeah, no, they fixed that a while ago. Yeah, no, they fixed that. What is that? Yeah, fixed that don't work anymore. Course, no, uh, uh, tier one on Tiandi. Yeah. yeah, tier one on Tiandi doesn't. That still work. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I should add that to the rule set for the um, coach and students tournament, which is I'm going to be, which is me doing this dojo is delaying me announcing it. <laughs> I'm halfway through writing the post for it. Maybe um, I will ban Iron Man I think... in that case. Yeah, if uh, if it's not fixed by the time it happens, then yeah, you should ban Iron Lungs. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you should ban Tier 4. No. Uh, because it was only really broken. 
if used really, really optimally, which I thought was going to happen in that mm. tournament. Yeah. And even if it is, then I guess that's um, another reason to ban it. If it is OP, even if, even in uh, tournaments like that. I love Roster. He's so bad at the game. Is this what um, we're doing now? We're what the fuck? Bullying other players? I bully Roster because he's bad. He deserves it. Okay, Mr. Comp player. <laughs> so hey, I'm not a comp player. I'm a. I'm You're not a comp now? player. I'm just a, uh -huh. you know, I'm just a member player. That's, once again, Roster fucking fuck, fuck me over. <laughs> comp players should stay in scrims. You play in scrims, I think you count as a comp player. I guess, yeah. I shouldn't be. I played in like two and I got my butt kicked. <laughs> Everyone's a comp player. Congratulations. Well, yes. yeah, playing lots of scrims. Doesn't take a lot. Just have the comp mindset now you're a comp player. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you, use zone, you use zone up to select and you're also a comp player. That is oh, true. You're, you're actually a trash human being. Yeah. yeah. Up to select abuser. <laughs> exactly. That's Man, uh, the I think they'll be heavy as well. You dirty option select abusers, yeah. Imagine, <laughs> imagine using imagine using a thing that's been in the game for five years. When when Amusing. were you really like found <laughs> found found out like when it became the thing? When was Zone options like, like found out. No, 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 zone options. Mm, there are uh, those. Like the other ones. It blew up. Um, that was, uh, probably about like a, um, it's gonna be coming on to, two years. Mm. It was in the last. Was there? Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it was only a year. It was the the end of the fray tournaments is when, uh, the GB GBOS was was like found. I, I, I actually, let me let me check my, uh. <laughs> I can find the post Very where cool, I... <laughs> I did. I was the one to put out the video about um, dodge option select, so I guess you can blame me. Um, well, I didn't find them, but I did a like the not, pop, not popularize them. I don't know what the right word is. Uh, I tested tested all of them, um, and that was well, in March 2020. So sometime. Some time ago, yeah. So I guess a, a, a bit, a bit over a year. They've been, they've been a thing. Um, yeah. Curious to see what they do on TG. Yeah, I, I think they'll probably be removing all of them. Um, it's a big L right there. Yeah. Eh, I don't mind. I mean, like, I, I, I hope they then also, you know, Im improve zone stamina so you can actually use zones like. More creatively and flexibly in your kit. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. I love this game. It's nice, very dog uh... shit. <laughs> you nice, yeah, I, I love I love a bow that does fifty damage, which is also instant. Silver is so bad. <laughs> it also confirms this... team uh, enemy attack. That's yeah, very very cool. You should have just played better, man. I kind of like. I really hope. If I got to pick, I wouldn't even fucking remove any of the option selects, but I do get that. Oh, I just want, I, I mean, personally, I just want dodge and bash removal. Yeah, dodge, I, I don't know. Oh, no, I, I also want the other stuff removed. I like, mean, yeah, of course that thing should nah, be fine. No. I, think, I, I, I don't think we should let it text anymore. I think we should, uh, I think we should keep, uh, emo toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's mm, the one. That's a good idea. Yeah, just keep it in the game, yeah, sure, wonderful. Punishable yeah. only by 400 of this light. Oh, pardon me. We can, uh, we can keep, uh, we keep that, but remove zone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they, like, we just remove zone only, and then we can Imagine just keep the, the yeah, just remove yeah, zone. They, 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 everybody will be happy, yeah, but all the, you know, and we will also be happy, because we'll have all the good options, like, they don't have to complain about the, the best <laughs> options, like, of course. Well, I can, I can say with some confidence, I don't think that's going to Unfortunately. Man, wait, <laughs> wait, with some confidence? <laughs> Not absolute confidence, just well, some. I can say with uh, plausible deniability that... Uh-huh. No comment. comment. <laughs> oh, just, I'll just say that they, they... Zone Option Select has been in the game since the game came out. I mean, and uh, has they didn't anything? really look, look into fixing 
option selects until all these more powerful ones, including emote option selects. Into so the because of the fact speed. that we found all these new ones, we're actually okay. getting removed of all I mean, like wasn't I mean, unlock, so. unlock tech there since release? I mean, that's. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. So that has been that was fixed, I guess, within the first year, technically. But so. like, but like, it never just suddenly appeared. It was always there since release, same I mean, as zone option select. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know. I mean, obviously, that was way more broken than zone OS. Yes. Um, and Zone OS, it, but I mean, I, on a conceptual level, you can think that there are problems with Zone OS. It's not tutorialized anywhere, and you can't tell if somebody's used it unless you faint. Um, you know, whereas other attacks, they, you know, you, you, they dodge attack. You see, they dodge attack, so you know, you know, you know what they've done. Whereas their inputs are kind of hidden. If, um, if no, they... I don't think. think... I don't know, man. This gameplay yeah. is already way too simple. Oh, I think my game crashed. You don't need. Uh... Okay. That's unfortunate. I don't think uh, you need more. Oh, Make it more simple. You like just keep on hitting me on If they remove every OS, it's literally just going to be down oh, to indicators. Uh, yeah, can't I mean... wait for. Uh, can't wait for all the players that can react to parry flash to just uh, they... win. Yeah. Every single time they fight me because I can't react. By default. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, but then that's already the case with you know just. It's just less so. That it... no, the thing is, at least you know you have. I know it's gonna sound like stupid and all that, but at least you have a chance. Like I cannot react to Perry Flash, but we say if I'm fighting Silencer, at least I have you know my options like that I can rely on. If as if he throws an unblockable, whereas if I throw an unblockable against him, he's just gonna parry it every single time because he can just react to Perry Flash. Whereas yeah. if he throws an unblockable, he has to make a read on which options like I'm gonna use. Yes, I know People... it's. I know it's a dumb hole. You you gotta feign into neutral all the time to beat option selects. Every option six can get punished. Like there, there, there's punishes, and some of them get punished pretty heavily. Like you look at if you, I try to use G, GB options like that when um, I'm out of stamina, I, I get I get punished by a heavy. If I try to GB options like someone in revenge, I eat a full revenge punish. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like I'm not I'm not saying that the, but I guess in the ideal world, the parry flash won't be wouldn't be reactable anyway. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in my ideal world, you remove Parry Flash completely, and then you have zone options like them. That's it. Like, yeah. I, I mean, mean, I think zone options like I would have, you know, if I if I'd have kept it in, um, I'd have probably, you know, I would make it so that it doesn't give you an actual punish when you parry. You just get frame advantage, and um, and like a lower stun. But but you know, uh, I, I I think I would prefer the game to have more use for zones, and. Not have options and uh, not have zone options left, and then having a zone options left and not have any. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what that was. What I said is the. I think would be my. I think to make me. everyone happy, we just get rid of the guard stance. <laughs> no, then what happens? <laughs> then it would be skill. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, so, so the thing is, in many ways, option selects work like dodge attacks. Um, you know, that they, they cover faint. To guard break and they cover the attack itself. Um, Figure the solution. <laughs> remove attacking. <laughs> so, so it, you can. If, if every character has a dodge attack or equivalent to dodge attack, then you can kind of almost see it okay. as as like as like having um you know equip you know work a bit like zone option select for. So it's not like it's not like you will only ever have the two options of of parry or don't parry. You know, there's still there's still some some more than just one defensive option. In, so there are human uh, beings out there, or I guess I should say hybrids, that can react to the flash. Yes. 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 Dear God. The two most notable ones are Silencer and Antonio. Yeah. But I mean, you need <laughs> to have a lot. You have very good reactions and and also training to be, be practiced uh, to actually how many use drugs, those reactions. How many drugs do I need to take? Yeah. Probably probably all of the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. All of the drugs. Yeah. The I mean if I can possible. read for a light, I just parry on red. And that gets me through a so light parry. I can't even really react. I have to Mom. read if there's a I have to read no. full stop if a light 
it, no. from which light direction is coming. So I mean, like the react reactability in 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 front is is a, an issue. Like okay, go back on the ladder. Go back on the ladder. One of the core ladder. problems. Well, I, okay, I was about to do it. Game. I guess not, because you're just a pussy. Playing for honor while halluc while on hallucinations. <laughs> I mean, uh. so yeah, so it, it, you you do point out that was that having um, you know, flat power flash is actually a pretty big, pretty big issue, and we'll, with zone options like this, remove all that, with we'll, options like removal, uh. it's just going to make players that can parry on flash more powerful, as it were. But mm -hmm. the, you know, oh wow, I can't react the, the to the game. bash. Is that something new? Fuck you. Yeah. So that mean that <laughs> actually the consider is... killing yourself, Tetsuo. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> But the thing is, that's, yeah, that it's already a problem Why? for people who, you know, across the reaction spectrum. Some people can react to 500 ms bashes, some people can react to lights. Um, it's a problem with the designing at the borderline of reactability. It's just going it to, ideally, it shouldn't be having fast reactions, shouldn't give you such a massive advantage in the game. Um, right. So maybe, maybe one day they will, you know, move more towards. Get rid of that, indicators. You know, or, you know, make it so that. Neutral light, uh, light attacks, uh, either 400 ms or or 600 ms, and there's no you know, 500 ms lights or whatever. Or either either 300 or 700 ms, and there's no in between. Okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. I didn't even know that like Tiandi's lights were faster than most people's. I thought it was just the animation. Yeah, that's how so, I thought. I so thought in it my was, brain, was it was just like, oh, it's the animation. That's why I can't react to this. Even sometimes I can't even react to block it. If I'm having a yeah. bad day, and then somebody's like, "Oh yeah, no, that that's it's actually faster." I'm like, "Oh, well now I can't make the excuse yeah. that it's just the animation. <laughs> now it's uh, just because I'm trash." The, well, no, it's meant to, it's meant to be ones. Those are by design. You're meant to only be able to predict them. You did you because just I, get did you just get killed by a bot using dude okay, the, using the full air? He's too powerful. <laughs> it's such a powerful bot. No, uh, do you have a spot? It knew that you were gonna get hit backwards too. Because like, okay. I, I thought. So yes, so the, the uh, TND, you mean the TND's chain lights are 400 ms, so you almost, almost no players will be able to. You know, the, these reaction monsters like Silence or Antonio and so on, some of That's... them can can react to them, but. Cause... I found yeah. him easier to defend against because there was an arcade mode where it's like they didn't have a guards, there was no like indicators or anything. And I found myself easier to de to block or parry their lights than when there was an indicator. So, well, oh, yeah, because then you're based off oh. the animation alone, which you, I think uh, would be pretty can you cool. Trade with me on my top unblockable to see how much damage it does with my feet. Like, like try and light me on my top unblockable. Looks <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Yeah, they need to bring back the the no the no HUD duels so I can get that uh, full black um, color scheme again. Oh yeah, that's nice. But right, I am going to. <laughs> he just got you arrow strike again. Nice. He and killed he killed himself. himself as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a He's maniac! A what a maniac! Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Absolute Chad. Right, I am going to head because I need to do this. Announce this coach and students tournament thing. Um. So I hope some of you, some of you guys will sign up as coaches and, and or students. Should be exciting. Sign up as a student. Very exciting. Same. I'm actually going to be submitted as a student. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't. Uh, it's the teams are teach. randomly assigned. So. Oh. Teach um, Zerg. That's all I do. <laughs> so it should be should be fun though. So yeah. It sounds sign interesting. When when I'll that, keep in mind it, in like ten minutes when I finish the announcement, I should have done earlier today and just been. Up I mean, honestly, I don't really think there's anything else on mid play we can teach. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, I, we, as you can see, Jeremy and Normie just doing a few mid lane ones. I, it's kind of hard to like explain what we're doing since mm. it's something that we both we've played it for so long. So yeah. it's like I've I've played Musha on mid for at least I want to say 50 reps, maybe even more. Like probably sixty to fifty reps of our Musha on mid only. I have a That's question, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. so I, I I know how to like play Musha on mid very 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 well. So that's like another thing. It's just about you know like when you play mid for so long, you just get the feeling of what you can what you can and what you can punish and what you can do and such. Yeah. It's 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 very hard to. You know just. 
get it down and, like, and just say, oh, you just got to do this in this situation. And it, it's the, the basic for honor rule of you can't just tell people in this situation you want to do this and in this situation you want to do that. It's like the feeling yeah. you get. Yeah, you got to feel it out with ex- with doing it over and over. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the most basic thing of for honor. It's the same with like ganking. It's the same with yeah, I can't just tell you, oh, if you're not one against the Shigoki, you always want to be with but there, are, there are different Shigoki players. There are different people that have different reactions and all that. Like it's very hard to tell you what to do in For Honor. It's more yeah. of a, like a feeling you get. Exactly. I, That's you, why you, I'm you, still you... actually quite a bad player. <laughs> Even though in theory, knowing quite a lot of theory, I'm just terrible. I'm That's terrible I say another practice. thing. Like, you can know everything about the game, but you can struggle to like play it. Like for example, Spaniard said, like Spaniard knows like everything. Like he knows a lot about this game, but because of the fact that he doesn't have like the best reactions and Maybe he sometimes, uh, as an example, I I have a friend who sometimes he spaces out in team fights. Oh yeah, that's me as well. I don't I don't yeah. I don't practice playing at a high level, so I don't me neither. I don't play at a high level. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I've done a few scrims and done okay in them, but I, and I've played in a few tournaments, but yeah, I'm not. I by no means a, a competitive player or even a particularly good player. But yeah, just I think no. I mean, I, I think I would have the potential if I tried a bit more, but you know. I think with one of the scrims I played, the the team that absolutely beat like just there was no chance. I I think I got all my lights parried, and some of them weren't neutral. Like I was mixing up, so. I mean, I they were also like all rep seventy. They knew how to gank. Oh, that's probably not like they were really not. <laughs> they they were not new people, even if they weren't new people. That they were really really good. I, I told it, the team I was playing with, I was like, yeah, I mean, we lost, but at least we lost to some freaking bonkers people. Yeah, so that's what's going to be the, people. the nice thing about the, um, yeah, well, I think Stag will see how pe- how long people kind of kind of want to hang out. i got to go and sort this uh, thing, this tournament out, but the, the nice thing about this teachers and uh, stu- uh, coaches and students tournament is that it will be, like, there, I mean, there won't be any teams, all the teams will be new teams, as it were. So there'll be some there'll be some players who are better than some players who are worse, but I'm trying to I'm trying to make it so that they're relatively balanced. Um, everybody who enters should have a chance to to do well. Hopefully, so um, you won't get uh, this. Is, this is something I find that happens a lot in in a like good tournament in mainstream like, bigger tournaments is that you have a team of new players want to join, which is great. And they they play for a bit and then you know they win maybe win a couple of matches and they run into an actual like high end competitive team and they just get absolutely trashed um and just stomped, which is never particularly enjoyable to be on the receiving end of. So um, hopefully this this tournament will be slightly different to that. Um, although I expect there'll be some comp players playing as well, but hopefully most of them will be coaching instead. Anyway, uh, I better go and do get on with that. Uh feel free to carry on the dojo if you if you want to, which I guess we'd normally end Twenty minutes from now, but you know you can end it early if you're if you're if you're yeah. all done. That's um, what we're gonna do. Yeah, or well, you can go and do some Russian one v ones and people. If you if you guys are uh, anybody who's for this game for today. Yeah, no, I'm not necessarily you, but like anybody who is watching and, and wants to practice that, you know, feel free to you know, use the training and sparring channels to find training and sparring partners. But Link should be now. in the description of the world, by the way. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. L- uh, right. Link to and... the dojo and the two things uh, regarding the mid the mid things. You, what you linked the competitive runner sublink and the the info up, they're both in the description, or will be. Thanks, Doug. And thank you very much <laughs> again, um, Normie and Silver for leading the sesh. No problem. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Thanks. Goodbye. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.